Canada's next Prime Minister will have to deal with the outside world. And what happens out there affects Canada. So what are the candidates' foreign strategies? ISIS and the War on Terror. Stephen Harper has championed Canada's fight against ISIS and is a strong supporter of keeping Canada's military involved in Iraq and Syria. Earlier in the campaign, Harper proposed a travel ban on anyone attempting to go to regions controlled by terror groups. However, law and security experts have noted this would be almost impossible to enforce and likely wouldn't withstand a charter challenge. Both Mulcair and Trudeau say they'd stop fighting ISIS. Mulcair would pull troops out altogether. Trudeau would restrict them to training Iraqi troops. Harper has also defended his anti-terror bill C-51, which has been criticized as violating Canadians' rights and freedoms and failing to address existing intelligence gaps. Mulcair, who voted against C-51, has said he'd repeal it but hasn't said what he'd replace it with. Trudeau, who voted for C-51 even though he said he'd opposed it, has said he'd amend it but hasn't specifically said how. Refugees Harper has promised to take 20,000 refugees by the end of next year and match Canadians' donations of humanitarian aid to the area up to 100 million. More recently, his immigration minister promised to expedite processing, which can take years. Mulcair wants to bring 10,000 Syrian refugees to Canada by the end of the year, and Trudeau wants the government to accept 25,000 refugees within the year. International Trade Canada is in the middle of negotiations over a massive international trade agreement, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Details of the negotiations are officially secret, but keep getting leaked. Most recently, Harper hinted that Canada's auto sector may not love the final iteration of the deal. While Kerr and Trudeau have criticized Harper's dedication to Canada's struggling auto industry. For more on this, go to globalnews.ca.